Yo, what's good people? Today, I'm going to be talking about how I get my Tekken 8 to look so clean on PC. So I want to first off just start by saying there's certain settings where I feel like if you have a weak system, it's just, just don't do it if you have a weak system. So you can see my rig is a 47 Ti Super, which is quite powerful. And my CPU is a 5900X with 32 gigs of RAM. So my system is very strong. So I would recommend if you have a weaker system, so like if, for example, it also depends on the resolution. So mine is 1440p. So if you're running at 1080p, let's say, for example, you're playing on a 1080p monitor, then you might be able to get away with some of these settings. But if you play at higher resolution, I think it really depends on your rig and your system. So for me, if I was playing on 1440p and I had, let's say, for example, a 3070 or below, I would skip one part of this video which is DLSS tweaks which kind of forces the game to run at native resolution so I wouldn't recommend it because it's going to cause lag and it's going to you need DLSS to run Tekken 8. Tekken 8 is surprisingly difficult to run and I think that's why a lot of people are running into lag. I don't think it's the netcode I think it's people's PCs not being able to run the game. So the first change that you can do for Tekken in the Tekken files is find this file the engine file so for me it's in app data local Tekken 8 saved config windows so click into this First of all, before you click into it, right click, go to properties and make sure this is read only is unchecked because you want to make changes to it. So make sure that's unchecked, click into it. Now I've added these settings. So by default, it would look like this with no space. So paste the settings in. I'm going to put these in the description. So you can just copy and paste it, but paste these settings in add a space so don't make it look like this add a space and i'm going to explain what these settings are doing in terms of the cleanness of the game usually it's the grain filter that they put on the game so they put like a, a film grain filter which i just don't like it so i turn it off um so turn the grain filter off i like to have motion blur on my games and this is the max motion blur so max setting is four so if you want it to be maximum motion blur set this to four. If you don't like motion blur, turn it off, put it to zero and that's no motion blur. So you can just put that to zero. The rest are kind of whatever. I mean, you can put this to 16, but in terms of the cleanness of the game, it's really down to the filters of the game that Bandai Namco kind of coded into the game. So really you're going to see the difference with grain quantization and motion blur. I feel like those are the biggest changes. The bloom can kind of affect when you're doing rage arts or if for example a costume has like shimmering you can turn that off as well so that bloom will affect that look in the description if you want to follow these steps copy and paste it paste it into here add a space and then save it so i'm going to click don't save because i already have it i already have my settings um and then when you click save right click this again and then press read only so check read only click apply and click ok because if you don't click read only, the game can change the settings back. So to prevent that, you can click read only and the game can't then make changes to this file. So that's the engine file tweak. Now we're going to talk about how to make the game run at native resolution. And this is what I did. And this is why I said, don't do this step if you're running at high resolution and you don't have a strong system. So for me, I run my game at 1440p, but my system is very strong. So I can, I can afford to do this with no performance issues. Go to Nexus Mods, because if you click on this, it's just going to direct you to Nexus Mods anyway. Click on Nexus Mods, so it will bring you to this page. I've just done it, so let's close this one. It's going to bring you to this page. Click on Files, download it, so download the latest one. So when you click Download, your, you know what, let's just click Download. Why not? Now, all you need to do is copy and paste all these files, and then you need to find the game install folder. So for me, it's in my secondary M.2, because I have two M.2s in my PC. So you would find Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Tekken 8. Then you would go into Polaris, Binaries, Win64. So follow this directory up here. So wherever your Steam Library is, find Steam Library. So wherever you install Tekken 8, find it. Follow this directory. Now you're gonna end up in Win64. Now all you need to do is paste these files. So once you paste these files, this, this 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 and this file so these files and this file will be pasted into the game installation folder so now what you need to do is click into dlss tweaks so it's going to come up with this window but all you need to do now is once you've opened this program 
you need to adjust this first setting which is false DLAA so it's going to be set to false so set this to true and what that is going to do is going to force the game to run at native resolution that's why I said if you don't have a strong system do not do this because you're going to get even more lag if you were struggling before so don't do this if you don't have a strong system set this to true save it and then click out of that and you're done pretty much you can run Tekken so now when you're in graphic settings you can put everything to ultra now this has to be on DLSS quality so it says DLSS quality in the game but in reality it's turned off and the game's running at native resolution right now I'm going to just jump into practice mode so you can see how clean the game looks I also want to talk about recording and rendering because people ask me how do I make my content so clean and it's mainly due to how high of a bitrate I set the recording and the render to so it doesn't matter if your game looks like this and you're recording low bitrate the, the game's still going to look like it's going to look terrible on YouTube because the bitrate was not high enough to capture the quality if that makes sense so again that also depends on your rig so if you have a weak rig you're not going to be able to kind of record at high bit rates it's going to be stuttery it's going to shift frame rates it's going to look awful so again you kind of just have to understand your pc and your components and kind of you have to do a lot of like trial and error see like what the maximum bit rate is that your system can actually handle and then go from there because you know i record at 120 bit rate which is very very high that's why my game looks so clean on youtube that that's just because my game itself is clean runs at native resolution and I'm recording and rendering at really high bitrate so that's important as well people don't tell you that so we're gonna jump into game okay so I'm in the game and as you can see the game looks super super fluid and clean I'm gonna turn all of the HUD off so you can really see it so look the, the game looks clean and, and by the way I'm recording in 1080p right now so it's gonna look slightly worse because the game's running in 1440p on this monitor like I can see it then you guys will only see this video in 1080p i just record in 1080p so that's how to increase the fidelity of tekken and then if you want other people to see that quality the bit rate at which you record is massively important and the render quality as well so i'm gonna select different parts of the stage so you can see it so look at how clean the game looks there's no there's no grain filters there's no weird filters on the game just clean 1440p resolution not upscaling super super clean look at how detailed the stages are and then with motion blur it gives you that really cinematic effect on like big motions so that's how i kind of get that cinematic feel and then i'm gonna wait to default three so this is the infinite part of well it's technically not infinite but it's massive so again you can see how clean the game looks and that's how to make your tekken very clean if you have questions let me know in the comments because this can be a little bit complicated for people that don't know what they're doing but yeah if you have any comments or questions or queries please let me know in the comments and i can try and help you um if you have issues like if you have issues running the game at native resolution let me know your rig first of all let me know what you're running gpu your pc your ram and i can kind of help you optimize your settings because as i said not everyone's going to be able to do this not everyone's going to be able to run the game out 1440p at native resolution it's just a really demanding game actually so yeah I think it really all depends on your rig and how far you want to push it. Because if, if you want to just play games, it's fine. But now if you want to run it in native res and record and stream and do all that stuff, put an extra pressure on your system, that's also going to affect it. So you, you really have to be careful. And also online as well. So if your system can't handle it, you're going to lag and other people are going to feel that lag. So your games are not going to be good. So yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment. Please like. The video for the algorithm subscribe to let me know that you actually like the content hope you enjoyed peace